Okay, uh, this is the last little um, little subheading, uh, applications. So what we've been doing so far, we are just gonna use it all now. Example 12, the velocity of a particle is given by dx dt equals four x minus one meter per second where X is a displacement. You know, that's a distance with a direction and symbol is X. Initially, now this is a key word here right now. It's initially, which means, which means uh, T equals zero, okay? Most of times, not always, but most of the times. And the displacement is three. So what does that mean? Our X, equals three when t equals zero. So that's the information we really need to grab before we can start. A, find the equation for displacement. So what does that really mean? It really means we wanted um, x in terms of t. So, you know, f of x, so it's gonna be x of t. That's what we want here. But important thing again, exact form. Okay, well, let's start. <clears throat> First, I'll write it down. Now, if you look at this, if I want to integrate, because we have to go back to the original function, um, it's not in a right term, isn't it? If I times by dt on a both side, on my right hand side, 4x minus 1 will be with dt. That's not what we want because you can't do it. You have to have a right terms with it. So I'm going to call this step one. There's a four steps, guys, four steps. The first one is we want to change it to correct terms. Okay. So we want it to be, you know, dx with the x term or dt with the t terms, that sort of thing. And then second, after we change it to correct terms, we integrate. And then depend on the information we have, we have to find the constant, okay? And then make, in this case, we're gonna make a um, x the subject in terms of t. So that's what we're going to do. So first, correct terms. So I'm going to make this flip. So I'm going to go dt over dx, which will flip on the, my right-hand side as well. So when I do the times by dx on both sides, I will get, it's in the right terms now. Now I'm going to do integrate, okay? So if I integrate dx, I'll go 4x minus 1 dx. Now, we can sort of predict here with this that it's going to be ln log, okay? We can sort of can see it. Now, it'll be, oops, I should have a dt here, isn't it? Yep, dt, dt, sorry. So t equals now, I'm going to go with... Uh, I can't just go straight into the ln because I need to do something with it. Ln absolute value because we don't want this to be negative plus C. Okay, right. Now we need to find C using the information we had. What was the information we had? It was when T equals zero, X was three. Okay, so we're gonna so step three is finding a C. So I'm going to substitute in here. Four times three is 12 minus one plus C. So my C equals minus one over four ln 11. I don't have to put absolute value um, symbols here because 11 is positive. So therefore my equation equals one over four ln s of value four x minus one closed s of value minus 
1 over 4, ln 11. Now, that's not what we want. What we want was x of t. The last step I'm going to do is to make the x the subject here. So number four, step four, I'm going to make that. So let's tidy it up on my right-hand side here. If I can take one of a four out, I will have ln 4x minus 1 f sub value minus ln 11. Now that's the um, one of the rules for ln is now I'm going to uh, times by 4. Okay, times by 4. So I'm going to move my ln on my left hand side. I just swapped equals 4t. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now I'll take e because, you know, I want to get rid of the ln. So it would be 4x minus 1 over 11 e to the power of 4t. Okay, and then times by 11. And then divide, um, sorry, plus 1. plus 1, and then divided by 4. I'm going to do the whole thing. So my um, equation in terms of uh, t is 11e to the power of 4t plus 1 all over 4. Find the exact displacement. So what is that really asking us to do is find x. And when t equals 5. But important thing again, exact. We don't want actual, actual value. We just want the expression. That's what it means. Okay. Now, um, t equals 5. Which is, will be, um, 11 e to the power of 20 plus 1 over 4. Okay, so that's it. That's all we need to do. Do not calculate this because we want exact. Next one, C. Find the time. So we want T when X equals. So what do we want? It's always good to summarize the uh, question, okay, with all the information you need. Time, we don't know, but x equals 10. And also, the time should be in two decimal places. So just, just a little bit of reminder to ourselves, so what we are looking for. And x is 10, we need to find little t. Times by 4. I'm going to move the Term, t terms on the, my left hand side because that's how I feel comfortable about minus 1 39 and then I'm going to divide it by 11 so that I want that t to be by self now I'm going to have to take ln so ln 39 over 11. I'm just going to put the brackets because we don't really need to put absolute value symbols here because 39 over 11 is positive. And then divided by 4. And then you put it in your calculator. It's always good to put in your calculator at the end, very end. because So therefore, 0 0.32 second will be the when displacement is 10 meters. Okay, so before we jump into the Example 13, uh, exponential growth and decay. Now, important word here is pro proportional to. That's like we've done in year 10. So that's like, you know, y equals kx or something like that. So it's, it's very, very much what it is. And growth is when k is positive, decay, which is, you know, decrease. 
k is negative, the example 13 right now. And push it up a bit. Okay, so the population P, now this is a um, little bit of um, uh, information we got. P is a population, therefore it's going to be bigger than zero. So we probably don't need to use absolute value symbols. Solve. Solve is like I told you, we need to put in an original equation here. So population is 35,000 when t equals zero because it's initial. And solve for that will be p in terms of t. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so I've got all the information that I need. And I'm going to do that now. So first, if we look at this right now, um, it's it's in the wrong term, isn't it? Because if I times by dt on both sides, it, it won't work. So I'm going to make into correct term by flipping it. Therefore, now I'm in the right term. And then what am I going to do? Integrate. So I'm going to go straight into it, okay? Constant in front, because that way I can see it's going to be ln t equals. So that's what we got, okay? Now um, we need to find the c. Okay, therefore we need to use the information we had, which is when t equals zero, p is 35. So zero equals one over. Okay, so therefore my C equals, well, that's what I've got. And therefore my equation is now, now I can simplify this. I'm going to put in an absolute value. So that's what I've got so far. Okay. We haven't really done it yet because it needs to be in terms of P equals in terms of T. So I'm going to, fourth step is, I'm gonna times by, and then I'm gonna do, take E on that. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now, last step, times by 35,000 on both sides, P equals, 35,000. So we've just done that. Okay. So that's the um, equation. This is not bad because we just have to use the um, inf uh, formula to just solve it. So find. So here, find the uh, population. We don't know when t equals 10. That's all we have to find. And here, just roughly rate. Really need looking for this when x equals 10. That's all we were looking for. First one for t is 10. Okay, when you put that in your calculator, you will get 4493.7. Okay, so roughly 44,494 people because it's a population. Okay, so that's all we got. All right, second one, we're looking for dp over dt when t equals 10. 0.024p, wasn't it? Okay, so, but when t equals 10, our population, what's gonna, what I'm going to do is 0 0.024 times 44494. So if you do that, six, 068 people. But you could do, what you could do is, you, you know, the formula we had, 24T, you can uh, differentiate into dpdt and then substitute t equals 10 and you can find with the dpdt. 
it will be the exact same. Okay. And Newton's law of cooling, you probably remember this. We've done it um, in year 11. Temperature can be positive, negative. So that means absolute value. Okay, absolute value symbols, and we needed that one. And this is the uh, temperature of the environment. So it's a room temperature. Careful with that. K, also, it's just constant, but it's negative because it, since it's cooling, okay, it's going down. All right, so keep that in mind. Um, an object is heated to 320 uh, Celsius, then left to cool. Okay, that's all right. And temperature in the room, aha, room temperature is right there. So room temperature is that, was it T1, wasn't it? So I'm going to just put it there for part A. If the temperature of the object is down to 290 Celsius after 10 minutes. Now, what, what does that mean? I'm just going to make it a little bit simpler for, for myself. That's what it means. So temperature is 290 when little t equals 10. And this, what we're looking for, we're looking for temperature when t equals 30 minutes. T minus t1, but I'm going to write straight into but since t1 equals room temperature 26. Okay, so that's what I've got. And then to find the um, temperature, okay, it says find the temperature, we need to have capital T of little t equals okay so here we really need to find the capital t when it's 30 that's what we're looking for but first i need to correct terms so i need to flip and then i will go equals Okay, so that will give me, um, that will give me the um, right terms here. Now I'm going to have to integrate. So I'm just going to go straight into it, guys. Oh, I can see this is going to be ln. Okay, so, and I'm going to put in absolute value because a t can be negative. Okay, so that's what I've got. When t equals zero, uh, it was 320, capital T equals 320 Celsius. At the, from, the, um, uh, from the question, it says an object is heated to 320 Celsius, then left to cool. So that was a starting point for us. So when t equals zero, it's a 320. So looking for c here. Okay, now think about this, guys. With um, formula we are using, uh, we got K there, we have um, C there. So we probably need two sets of points here. So first set is a 0 and 320. The other one we're going to use will be uh, 10 and 290. Okay, so have a little bit of a prediction here what I'm going to use. Anyway, so let's have a look. So zero equals one over K. Actually, um, LN. So therefore, C equals, I'm going to move whole thing, this part on the other side already. And... If I can do that is, is it 294? Okay, 94. And I don't really need to use my um, absolute value symbol. So I'm just going to put in a brackets so it looks better. So therefore, I've got T equals 1 over K. 
ln t minus 26 and I have to do minus here minus 1 over k ln 294 okay now I'm going to tie this one up a little bit we need to change this in terms of like a t make the t the subject okay that 4 I have to find the little k okay so I'm going to use when t equals 10 capital T was 290 from the question Celsius so let's have a look so when 10 okay so I'm going to find the K so 10 equals 1 over K over 294 okay mm, I'm gonna just times by K let's see so I'm gonna do 10 K equals LN equals 1 over 10 ln 264 294 now if you do that using your calculator you probably will get 0 0.0107 something something four to five decimal places in this case because it starts with a very very small so we're going to put that in there. Okay, so therefore T equals minus 1 over 0 0.0108. Now that's not all, isn't it? That's not it really because we have to know our T terms here, capital T. So number four term, we need to change this one to the capital T terms so I'm gonna do times by minus 0 0.0108 on a both side don't forget the little t and then I'm gonna take e p okay whoo I think we're nearly there and then times by 294 on both side 26 equals 294 and then plus 26 for e to the power of 0 0.0108t okay Whew. so that's what we got but that's only the formula we have now we can answer the question because the question says, what is the temperature, capital T, when little t is 30 minutes? My goodness, that was a long one. I didn't expect that to be that long. Anyway, <clears throat> so here we go. 26 plus 294. Now put that all that in your calculator. You will get 238. 0.9 Celsius. Okay, after 30 minutes. Okay, something like that. It says show that. Now, you might think it's show that and you might panic and go, oh, is that the left hand side equals right hand side? Yes, it could be, but it says final. So this case, I think it, this really means when T goes to infinity, get, you know, when the time passes, what will happen? That's what it is. And we have to show that the T is 26 Celsius. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So from the formula we just got, T equals 26 plus uh, 294 e to the power of a negative 0 0.0108 t so what will happen when little t goes infinity gets bigger and bigger and bigger what will happen so if you just just play around with the calculator if this put it into like i don't know 100 or 1000 or something right your e to the negative because it's a negative 0 
will go uh, t will go zero it will go closer to the zero so if that whole thing will be zero wouldn't it that will go to towards zero because you know 294 times zero will be zero so therefore our temperature will be closer to 26 celsius so eventually it'll it'll reach 26 as required required all right next one logistic equation okay it is something to do with predicting it used the equation is used to predicting a growth or decay that's all okay and sometimes they use this but we're going to use this one now here the little k here and little n here is what we call it um limiting condition okay limiting so that's a little small k is constant but this k is limiting condition what does that mean it means just a maximum size of population same as capital n there as well okay so think about that so it's all about like growth and decay but it's a different way of doing it that's all okay example 15. all right josh sets up a new salmon um, farm with a 250 fish okay so he started with 250 so what does that mean when t equals zero population is 250 okay that's all that is so just start to think about that when you start reading it just don't just read the um question think about information what you can grab okay okay show that obviously left hand side equals right hand side or sometimes right hand side equals left hand side that's what we're looking at here my left hand side there's nothing much going on there but right hand side more much like it's it's more exciting actually i can do something with it so what i'm going to do i'm going to start with my right hand side and then hopefully it'll end up same as left hand side so um looking at always keep thinking about your left hand side because that's what you're aiming for okay i don't need two fractions i want the one fraction so i'm gonna so they got two different denominators common denominator so i'm gonna go left with 12 thousand over p thousand minus p okay so far so good this 5 over 12 need to be something like 0 0.0024 okay so that gives me something like this if i do uh, 1 over 12 over 5 so a fraction of fraction and it'll be same as 5 over 12 and if you calculate that it will give me 0 0.0024 excellent so we know what to do with that you could um, swap this like that and then you can say 5 over 12 equals 1 over 12. you can put it like that if you want they expand it really and same as the left hand side okay so that's what we got use the result it says use it so please use it okay part a to show that oh another show okay well that's all right uh, this is going to be pretty long one i can feel it all right so first one uh, first thing correct terms here okay correct terms so i'm gonna swap this t 
dt equals p. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to do integration. So t equals. Um, I'm going to actually change this 1 over 0 0.0024 into 5 over 12. Okay, because I don't like just decimals on the fraction. So I'm going to go 5 over 12. And then I'm going to go. Uh, but what I've done here, uh, I'm going to change this one to what we were two fractions before. Remember, it was two fractions. It was like this when we change it to one fraction, didn't we? So I'm going to change that because it's easier for me to integrate. Okay. All right. This looks all right to me. So when I do that, first one, it's ln. P, P is population, so I don't have to put anything. Now, this one's going to be, second one's going to be a little bit tricky because it's a minus P. I need a minus here. Okay. And then I need to put minus up here before I integrate because otherwise it won't work, wouldn't it? Okay. So I'm going to push it down. So think about this. Why did I put minus there? Because LNP minus now I can go ln uh, absolute value like that and don't forget the c all right so 5 over 12 i'm going to sort of simplify this that looks pretty okay to me okay so that's what we got but it's not all obviously we need to make the um capital p the subject, don't we? So I'm going to move the um, 5 over 12 ln p okay and then equals t minus c okay I'll move the all the p's on my left because I want to be p equals and I move the uh, constant to the other side. And then what I'm going to do is um, times by 12 over 5. Okay. Um, take E. Okay. Now, 12 divided by 5 is 2.4. Just make it simpler, okay? And I'll make a little bit simple here too, further using the index law. Now, that's another constant, which I'm going to call it A. So here, so try to make it simple as possible as you go with, okay? And what I'm going to do now, um, so I'm going to times it I can actually find a isn't it because I was thinking how am I going to get rid of a but a we can go when t equals zero population was 250 from the question so we can do that so I'm going to do that now actually that might be a bit quicker so when t 250 1000 minus 250 equals a, it's a zero, so it's that. So a is 1 over 3 if you put in your calculator. Okay, so therefore our equation. Okay. Whew, now I need to change it. So I'm going to rewrite all this. Is this now? I was tr I'm trying to do cross multiply. Three. Okay. Now we can do it. Yes. So it'll be okay. 
and then I will go, okay, plus P. But I'm going to move these to my left-hand side. It's a lot of swapping around stuff right now. Rearranging, okay, rearranging really. So, can you see the uh, original question? You said e to the power of negative 2.4, isn't it? That was the key that I completely ignored. So I'm going to change this to 3p e to the power of negative 2.4t. I just looked at the question and that's what I missed. Okay, that makes sense. Now I'm going to put p the common vector and then 3e minus 2.4t plus 1. Thousand. Oh, thank goodness. P equals one plus because that's what they said on the question. Three is negative two point four T. That's what I missed it here. Yeah, that's the important part. So always check with your um, what you're trying to show, trying to prove. Okay. All right. Oh, C looks much better now. C is not as bad because all we have to do is now use the formula when T equals 2 and then when T equals 5. So it's not too bad. Two years later, roughly 976 fish because we don't want a decimal fish, right? So that's what we got. And here, 1,000 divided by roughly, um, okay, it was a 999.9a. So I'm going to go with 1,000 fish. Okay, so that's what we got. Next one, what is the maximum possible? Aha. Uh -huh maximum. Now this is the uh, what we're talking about limiting condition we talked about. Yeah. So if you could remember that, you can use it straight into it. Like I told you about that D capital DT equals like little k p n minus p. So that is your maximum size is 0 0.0024 capital P thousand minus P that was a actually from the question so that should be your answer but let's have a look we can do that so maximum meaning when the time passes you know it gets increased so what will happen to our uh, 3e to negative 2.4t will go to zero, right? So therefore, our p will become 1,000, isn't it? Because what was our formula? So that whole thing goes to zero when time goes infinity. So they will become thousand over one, which is close to the thousand. Okay, so um, our maximum number is thousand. Okay, or if you use that, the n equals thousand is the um, a carrying capacity, which is the same as saying maximum number. Okay, so that's otherwise the same. So it's a thousand. It's a lot to cover, and hopefully you can just have a look again, again, and practice, and that should be okay. And that's all for this lesson.